You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got two more segments left with our guest, Dr. Billy DeMoss, Infowars.com forward slash CalJam, or follow the banners to find the limited tickets that are left, but they've got them spaced out at the gala, down in the front rows, and also up in the gallery. Uh, so there's a smattering of tickets, uh, a full spectrum of tickets still available, uh, but I predict it will sell out very, very quick, so you can sign up for the live stream as well and watch it anywhere in the world and help support these type of events that, believe me, the system is definitely scared of. This is a short segment, long segment coming up. We're going to be taking calls after our guest leaves us. They passed the FCC regs. Congress didn't. The FCC refused to testify to Congress. The chairman, they just did what they wanted. Another executive power grab in the name of protecting the web. Hillary Clinton supports it. What does that tell you? Will we see the 322 pages? We'll find out. The toll-free number to join us on that issue and everything else we've raised, first-time callers, 800-259-9231, 800-259-9231. Doc, uh, we only got four minutes to break or so. You've got the floor on the issue of some of your heroes you wanted to talk about. I also wanted to talk about one of my favorite speakers, who will be Dee Harrison, who's the most published chiropractor uh, when it comes to corrective care. It's just we have this epidemic, and I wanted them to talk about the epidemic of just this forward head posture. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I, have that. I go through the airport, and it's literally you see everybody's so addicted to, you know, their phones. And, you know, that's I what, have to lean over this mic. Well, yeah. So what we try to do is teach you things to do to counteract that. So I, I'm really excited. He's what do they call that slouch? It has a name. and, and then the, Typhosis. There's a name of the back hump. Oh, yeah. Dowager hump. Yep. Yeah, they're sexy, huh? Yeah. No, uh, mine is like 80% gone. Okay, good. I sort of get it. You got to really sure. work on, yeah, that's why surfing's good because it. The problem really is, I look that. like really arrogant when I actually don't think I'm supposed to, but I guess it's how, I mean, this is what I really look you like. You can do that, though. You look good like that. I mean, this is what, but I mean, you can't get a suit big enough. I mean, my shoulders and chest are ridiculous. But this is it. Here, I'll just sit here normal. Yeah. I also wanted to talk about Jeff Hayes because I think he'd be <laughs> great on your show. Yeah. Because, I mean, he, I put that, he's got. Cajones, can I say that on your show? Huevos. Huevos. He's got big huevos. Walnuts. He took a full page out in the Wall Street Journal, kind of in Obama's face, about this whole vaccine initiative, about the GMO, about Big Pharma. And I think, no, I don't think, it's a great film for everybody to get a chance to watch. He's got it streaming live now. Uh, and by the way, we sell uh, Doctor. It's funny you sell Doctor, but you should get bought on there, too. I want to get bought, yeah, in store. I think you just go to boughtmovie.com. You can watch that movie for free. Awesome. Botmovie.com. He's streaming it. Yeah. That's what I love about you guys. I do the same thing. We sell the DVD if you want to support us, but we just give the films away for free because that's the real joy. We got to get it out, man. You know, we we're going to lose everything. Right. And this is a war. It's a huge war. Why do you think these globalists want to suppress us? Well, obviously, I know why. It's de isn't it a depopulation yep. issue? I mean, they want to. That's get what I like about chiropractors. You guys are pro human, the globalists are anti human. Right. And I mean, they want to decrease the population down to 500 million. I mean, that's the bottom line. You know, when we why, I, the thing is, why is it such conspiracy theory? When they openly say it. Well, yeah, when they openly say it, and when you bring stuff up like geoengineering or different topics, and we won't talk about those topics because I don't want to ostracize myself any further than I already have. But <laughs> it's just to, to us, it's so blatantly obvious. Why is it so hard for some people just to grasp some of these things? Because. That's why women would get in the car with Ted Bundy. He just was wearing a suit, and it was a nice little Volkswagen, <laughs> non-threatening, and people just can't believe it's happening. The history of chiropractic is so interesting. Can we? Can you briefly give us the history of it when we come back? Yeah, we can do that. I'd because, love to do because that. I would be honored to do that. I don't think I've ever met a chiropractor who wasn't more awake than the general public or wasn't super awake. My and little nephew, Cole, 16 years old, is more awake than 95% of adults out there. So understand, who are the leaders of the proto- chiropractic movement that every time I turn around the people fighting the new world order of chiropractors I want to find out why statistically just from my own experiences that is the most awake group stay with us uh, the FCC chief is refusing to still talk to Congress after he put regulations through won't testify and last time I checked you guys are looking right 
They will not. They have not released the 322 pages yet. Correct. Yeah. So we're ferreting that out. This is unbelievable. Uh, I would search engine um, FCC 322 in Google News and see if that's anywhere. That is a major issue. I mean, this is so dastardly. Now they do it in secret. Obama's behind it. George Soros gives 196 million with the Ford Foundation for disinfo to get leftist groups who mean well. They think they're protecting the internet when all this does is put the government over it. Unbelievable. And now he still won't testify before Congress. That is mind blowing. We have another video. Police confront open carry activists for engaging in constitutional BS. I can't say the word. Uh, that's just some of it. I don't even know what to say anymore. It, it, it is just crazy. This world is going nuts, Billy. Hell in a handbag, baby. The history of chiropractic, as we were talking about earlier, so many times it's chiropractors and their, and their associates and allied you know, health type people that are fighting tyranny. And, and, and they would be classed in, in many cases as kind of leftist sure, or, or moonbeamy, but right. that's not really what's happening. Well, it's just, I mean, I, we're more aware because we have a completely different paradigm of health. I mean, we're not into drugging every problem that a person has. And I think that gives us greater clarity and it gives us a chance to actually realize what's going on. I mean, most chiropractors are highly anti-vaccine. I mean, so from the very beginning, our kids aren't being poisoned and maimed and dumbed down in my opinion but they're all, but you were saying earlier but they're also into they're super nutraceuticals. Health stuff, right yeah. yeah nutraceuticals we're also into just the lifestyle i mean i juice every day i use a vitamix every day all those things to help contribute to elevate my health not treat disease it's all about you've got the testosterone of an 18 year old well I, I didn't know that till today you guys told me that so I, I, I mean, you knew it was fourteen hundred. You just didn't know. I just know that was a great number. Like just Dr. Elliot Thorpe told me that that it was like fourteen hundred. She wanted to know what I was doing. So she said she hadn't seen one that high in a while. Maybe that explains why some of my hair fell out. <laughs> yeah, something tells me you already had. But the history of chiropractic goes back to like it, it was founded in eighteen ninety five, and you know it it was all about just helping people. And then we the chiropractors started actually going to jail for practicing medicine which we never ever wanted to practice medicine. We, we've given people an alternative to medicine. And it's it, it, basically, we're trying to teach people to live a different lifestyle than the allopathic lifestyle, which is great for emergency and crisis care. Well, I tell you, I'm excited about what you're doing. I can't wait to speak at CalGM. Now, obviously, it's going to sell out. So if people don't want to go or can't get tickets right now, they should go sign up uh, for the two-plus-day event. All these incredible speakers to be able to sit there and watch it and archive it and have it because it's it, it's also important to financially support these events. It is not cheap to put these on. I've done no, it myself. No, no, that's not cheap. And there's so much time that myself and Jane have put into this event. I mean, it's a full time job. And I'm just asking people that come just to support it. And it's a, just a mere pittance what you're paying to be there. But at the same time, we have to create this movement and resistance. And, and, and everybody that comes. We have to network. Yeah, comes and has the most amazing time because it's it's not only the information, it's a celebration and everybody's, you know, hugging and it's just a love fest and people come and we have two different parties, the gala, then we have a disco party one night, we have three different bands, it's, it, it's a great time for people to come. And it's in California, which doesn't hurt, I mean, I was on the beach yesterday with 75, I was surfing in 63 degree water, it's a great time to come to California for some of these people that live up in you know, the tundra of Wisconsin or something, it gives them a chance to take a little, take a vacation once in a while, too. Absolutely. Speaking of the tundra, I misspoke earlier, and, and Jakari corrected me out in the hall. Thank God. I love having him in there on the show to pop in if stuff breaks. So he's not just a reporter and an anchor. He's also uh, wants to work on the show, so we appreciate it. He's in there doing a great job. He said, hey, uh, you're wrong. Joe Biggs, and some of the other guys were telling me, too. Joe Biggs and Josh are not gone. The airports are shut down in Chicago from the record snow and all the rest of it. So they're going to fly out later to investigate the secret gulag. But there they are claiming now that global warming is going to kill everybody. And again, obviously, climate change is real. It's always happening. Mm -hmm. And it becomes this left-right debate. But now scientists are in The Guardian saying, no, there's weather modification going on. That might be what's doing stuff. You know, do we ever think about weather weapons? And that's going to be at the conference as well. Right. With Dane Wigginton on GEO. We've got a few minutes left here. Uh, other points you'd like to get into? 
I mean, I think we've had everything pretty much. I mean, I, I, if people want to come and really learn so many more things that they can do and apply to their lives to increase their health and vibration, and also, again, things that they can do in their own communities to teach more people about things that both you and I need or, 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 or talked about, it's just important for us collectively to come together as a human race to perpetuate and sustain this planet for our children and future generations. Well, when you talk about vibration, when I was uh, 10, 11 years old, had a bad attitude sometimes, I'd say, Dad, why is everybody like you? Why do people give you free stuff at restaurants? And why do, <laughs> why do, why do you know, women at checkout counters try to get your phone number? And why does everybody like you so much? And then people are rude and mean to me. And he said, because... I'm smiling and have a good attitude and putting that off. Right. And he goes, you know, sound like you go to a football pep rally and everybody gets excited. You feel that energy. He goes, that's spirit. Right. Uh, and he goes, whether it's pheromones or letting off, whatever, you got to have a good attitude. And that's the difference between somebody who has this bad attitude about everything, somebody who has a good attitude. Right. When I bring out all this negative stuff, it's not because I'm being negative. It's like saying, 